Okay, now that you have picked all of your photos and uploaded them into your library at the top, you're now able and ready to start making a collage. As you can see here, we have four photos on the top in your library and are ready to be put on the bag. And we've selected the template that we would like to choose on the left-hand side on your template. Now what we'll do is highlight and click on the photo we want to put um, on the bag and you will be able to move it uh, and size it either using the red square in the corner or you actually can also use the arrows under move image or zoom. Once you have it placed just the way you want it, we, you, you can add the second image. We're doing that. That will also go on your bag and you can highlight that and size it uh, appropriately. Now you'll see there is an overlap here uh, from one image to another uh, and we will use our cropping tool uh, to crop the picture appropriately. You'll see a red box is where it can be cropped. You can make that box smaller. You'll want to size it just so that uh, it's sized appropriately and then click done so it's in the uh, opening that you'd like. The next step would be to add another picture. And again, we will size uh, this appropriately uh, and crop the picture if needed. Uh, we can size it again using the uh, red boxes or uh, moving it with the arrows or the zoom control. This picture looks like it does not need any cropping, so we can go on to the fourth picture and add that to the templated bag. You'll see the picture load, and you can then move this picture, size it appropriately, uh, and put it uh, in the opening you'd like. And again, you see overlap. Another way to, to address the overlap issue uh, is to um, select on the uh, other picture you want to overlap, and you can see that that uh, has happened. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is when you have all the pictures uploaded correctly, when you move your cursor outside of the box, it shows you exactly the way uh, the bag will look. And when the cursor is in the box, uh, you'll see a slightly transparent view to be able to manipulate your photos. 